Hey guys, welcome to another video tutorial from GCACMathsGuide.com. I'm Mr. Taffodil and today I'm going to take you through direct proportion. Alright, so what are direct proportions anyway? First of all, I just want to take a look at my learning objectives. So, using direct proportion, what we're going to do is learn how to find a relationship between two quantities. Okay, so in a, uh, in a, in a second I'm going to show you uh, that you know when you compare two quantities, there, there might be a relationship between them. And um, to find that relationship, we, we said that we use direct proportion. The next thing we're going to do is look at how to find the constant k. And again, I want to show you the example that's going to become more clear to you. And finally, once we've found our relationship, what we want to do is um, uh, use the relationship that we found and make a prediction. Okay? So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some example. Alright, now, here I've got a graph, and basically I'm going to label it uh, the weight in stones uh, against the height uh, and let's make that in centimeters so basically the graph is saying to me that you know, as someone's height increases um, then the weight increases so if for instance uh, our weight I, my height is about 180 centimeters then uh, my weight is about 11 so I'm gonna be somewhere about here okay and uh, you'll be fairly true to assume that if someone um, someone's height was 140 centimeters, then you know the weight would be a lot less than me. Yeah, so it'd be further down. And as you can see, if you were to plot loads of points, it's going to follow this line around. Okay. So basically, we say that the two quantities are in direct proportion. Okay. So to write this. In mathematical term, we say that h is proportional to the weight. This sign here stands for proportional. Okay, so this is called proportional. All right, now <clears throat> we're going to use this. Okay, now that we know that h is proportional to w because we can see that it's increasing as we increase one or the other. Uh, we can make an equation and use the equation to make some prediction. So let's say h, so you're going to write the same thing. Instead of writing the proportional sign, you're going to write equal to, and then you're going to write a constant k, which we're going to find in a second, times w, and w stays the same. So very important, when you write down the equation from um, the relationship that you found before, uh, you write h is equal to k, the constant, times W. You write times when you've got a direct proportion when things are increasing as the other one increases. Okay, so now we're going to find what k is, and to do that, you need two values in your GCSEs. They're always going to give you two values that you can work with. So the one I'm going to use uh, is 180 centimeters for 11 stones. So when h is equal to 180, then w is equal to 11. And like I said to you, in your GCSE exam, you're always going to be given two values to use in order to find what that k value is, okay? So how do I use those two values and find k is? Well, just take that number, the 180, and just substitute it into the h here, which means replace the h with 180, and take the w is equal to 11 and substitute it into there. So we end up with 180 is equal to k times w sorry it should have been k times 11 and now to find k what I need to do is divide both sides by 11 can you see that here I've got k times 11 and if I want to find what k is by itself I need to get rid of the times 11 the opposite operation to times 11 is divide by 11 so I'm gonna divide both sides by 11 divide that by 11 and here what happens is the 11 cancels out and on the other side I've got 180 divided by 11 and 180 divided by 11 gives me 16.36 so k is equal to 16.36 okay great so we found what k is and uh, now finally we're gonna take the answer and write down our final equation so the final equation becomes h so can you see this is what we started off with 
<coughs> we're going to rewrite it as h equal to k because now we know what k is we're going to replace it with 16.36 and then we're going to times it by w and that's our final equation that we're looking for all right so the point of finding this equation was to make prediction and that was our last last learning objective so let's go ahead and see how we can use that to make a prediction so we found that the formula is h is equal to 16 on 3, 6 times w so now let's say I knew that someone had a height of um, should we say 170 centimeters and you wanted to know their weight and you want to make a prediction well uh, you can come to your formula you can replace the height with 170 so you can say this is 170 is equal to 16.36 times W. Now, if you want to work out what W is, you can see that here we've got times by 16.36. So I need to get rid of the 16.36 by dividing it by the same number. So divide by 16.36 on both sides. So 16.36. Now I can just cancel this part and that part. And on this side here, I'm going to have 170 divided by 16.36. And that gives me 10.39. So W is equal to 10.39. Alright, so a person who has a height of 170 centimeters will weigh about 10.39. So the weight would be 10.39 stones. Alright, what if I wanted to work at the height of someone knowing their weight? So let's say that person's weight was. 13 stones <clears throat> and I want to work out the height how would I do this? well again we're going to do the same thing, we're going to look at the equation and we're going to replace what we know with what we have so um, so we know h is what we're trying to find is equal to 16.36 times w and in this case w is 13 so h is equal to 16.36 times 13 and that gives me a value of 212 well 212.3 so a person who weighs 13 stone should, ha should, should have a height of 212 centimeters might not necessarily be true but uh, this is just to illustrate um, how you can make a prediction using those formulas okay all right, and uh, that's about it for direct proportion. So things to remember again. When we say that something is in direct proportion, it means that one quantity will increase as the other one increases. Okay, so in this case, we compared the height and the weight, and you can see that it was increasing as we go on going on. Then you need to remember that you can write down the relationship between them by using the proportional sign. So here we said h is proportional to w. Next, what we did was we turned this relationship into an equation we said h is equal to and then we put a constant k times w1 things that are in direct proportion we have to multiply by a constant k then our next job was to find what k was and to find k we need two initial values so in this case we used the height was 180 and the weight was 11 we substituted that into our equation and we found what k was next once we knew what our relationship was, we used it to make some prediction knowing one of the other values. So in this case, we knew that the height was 170 and we predicted that the weight would be about 10.39. And we also did the same thing with uh, the height when we knew the weight, which was 13 stones. And we said the height would be 212, which was a bit off, I think. Um, well, let's say that's your, that's your example. Um, all right. Now as usual um, once uh, you watch the videos I always ask you to uh, click the like button and share it with your friends and um, I hope to see you soon in another video tutorial take care bye